Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. Thank you for so much for joining me today. Um, today is a very special video for me and I hope that I don't ramble on too, too much. I do have some notes on my daughter's phone that I will be referencing as I try to describe to you the introduction to my no buy for 2023. So <clears throat> I'm going to kind of go off of some of my kind of talking points for this. So um, for the year of 2022, I kind of allowed myself freedom to be able to buy new things, try new things, whether it was new releases or older releases. I allowed myself kind of some freedom for the first time to just buy as I wanted to. I wanted to try to play the Ulta points game where I would buy things if I needed it or I wanted it and there were multiple, um, like five times the points or ten times the points, um, then I kind of would buy, um, buy things then uh, <clears throat> from Ulta. Um, so over the course of 2022, I was able to earn... Um, I think about $450 in points. AKA, I have spent a total of $1,200 at Ulta. Uh, <clears throat> and so here is my little proof of that. So I've never had diamond status before. I've done platinum for a long time. That's pretty easy to get $400. But this year, I reached $1,200. Um, but I also got $450 in free products. In addition to reaching that new status for myself in at Ulta, I also reached VIB status at Sephora, which I think is like $500 that you spent in the year. And I do know at least 100 of that was a perfume. So it wasn't all makeup related for sure. So in taking, a, in taking those things into account and um, wanting to kind of take a pause for 2023 in purchasing things and <clears throat> really wanting to get to know, for lack of a better word, get to know the products that I've spent so much time cultivating last year, this year, it's still 2022 for right now, but when you're watching it, it'll be 23. Uh, <clears throat> just to stop accumulating new things and enjoy what I have because I feel like I'm a little burnt out on purchasing and so I decided to put myself um, on a no buy. So um, <clears throat> a couple of main talking points that I, I want to have are first of all this no buy is not a punishment to myself for buying too much this year because I allowed myself to do that. That was a conscious choice that I made to try a bunch of new things this year. So the no buy is not a punishment. I'm looking at it as an opportunity to enjoy the things that I bought. And <clears throat> on the flip side of that, if I find something that's not working for me, I will declutter it and not make myself use it. Because what I'm finding as I'm watching content, beauty content on YouTube, there are a vast majority of people fit into one of two categories. One, we consume, we buy new things, we just keep buying, buying, buying. And I allowed myself to do that this year to consume. And then you have the retention group where I've bought this, I've spent my money on it, and I am not going to let go of it. But I don't really want for this year to, for me to be in either one of those categories. I'm going to pause on my buying, but I'm also not going to make myself keep something if I don't like it. So, um, <clears throat> if I've try I know there's a few things I'm actually eyeing um, to declutter but I'm gonna try to give them one more shot before I get rid of them okay so here are kind of my no buy rules starting out first it is a replacement only um, so if I run out of something and I don't have anything else in my little stash then I will buy it the only exception to that is I have this um, <clears throat> sample of the Smash, Smashbox um, 
uh, mattifying primer. And I am going to allow myself to buy a full size of that after these two items are finished. And Ulta's having like five times the points on something, um, <clears throat> on like any purchase or whatever. If I can get five times the points or um, 10, I'll take that, then I will buy it. Um, I want that primer. I don't really do primers right now, but I want that primer because a lot of my foundations are very dewy and moisturizing and hydrating, and I need something to tamp that down so it's not quite so dewy. Because I feel like today, I could be a little too dewy, but I have powdered, so, you know, that's why I'm thinking the, the, um, the mattifying primer will go really well with the, um, glowy hydrating foundations. So, um, <clears throat> in the meantime, I will be, uh, number two, wish list items for Black Friday. So I'm not going to be on a no buy for the whole entire year, just until the Black Friday sales start to hit. And then anything that I have um, <clears throat> put in a, on a wish list or save for later, I will buy those things at Black Friday time. Um, but my wish list items have to be on the list for at least three months so that I have plenty of time to consider whether this is something I really, really want to buy. In the meantime, if there's a new eyeshadow palette released and it's got my favorite brown, warm, neutral shades, like my Sigma Ambiance palette, I will try my best to dupe those with what I already have. So I will compare swatches on YouTube to my own swatches that I will do here to try to like talk myself out of um, buying you know, or adding this to my wish list, this new, whatever it might be. Um, so, um, another thing that I'm going to do is uh, instead of doing an eyeshadow palette of the month, I'm really just going to focus on it for the week or however long that I want to, but I'm not going to force myself to keep something in and use it every day when I'm tired of it. And, um, I think that's going to help to be able to, um, tone down my desire to be able to buy new things when I can freely move about my eyeshadow collection or, or blush collection um, and not have that temptation to go want more when I already have a lot. Okay, <clears throat> so if triggered by a new item, because I know there are going to be things I saw something yesterday that I'm already like, oh, <laughs> Uh, it was something that Jen Phelps had talked about, a new powder palette from Milani, and I think it's called Luminoso. Um, but it's only available on Milani's site right now, so maybe, you know, by the time Black Friday comes, that might be something that I want to buy for myself. But I can guarantee you that I have a lot of shades in what I have right now that are probably very similar. But it looked really pretty. <laughs> um... Okay, so if triggered by a new item, those things are going to come. I'm going to put them in my wish list and wish for later. But if it's too much, then I'm going to abstain from videos that talk about that topic. Well, not if I see, oh, they're going to talk about that new Milani eyeshadow primer, or my Milani eyeshadow palette, Luminoso, I'm not going to watch that video. Um, I'm going to try to maybe even just kind of put my phone away for a while, for like a couple days, a week or whatever, and just read more, because I do have a goal next year to read a lot more. Um, in order to keep my collect current collection um, fresh and new and kind of rotating whenever I want to, I want to try new combos of things and mixing products together. Like today, my cheek blush is um, two of the Rare Beauty cream blushes, and I just mixed them together. And um, this one is Peace, and this one is Bliss, and I mixed them together. And um, I mean, this um, piece is so dark that this didn't really do much to it, but this was something fun, and it was still an opportunity for me to be able to use what I have in a different way. So that will be another thing. Now the big one, this is an idea that I have and I'm very excited about. I, I don't think I've seen, I don't think that this is already being done. 
on YouTube, and if it is, I apologize, but it is an idea that I had. I'm not trying to steal someone else's idea. But I did look, and I didn't see anybody. But if you have, let me know below. Um, I, <clears throat> I'm going to create a new series where <clears throat> it's going to be called Who Wore It Better Makeup Edition. And so my goal is to be able to take like my eyeshadow palette, Lust for Dust, Lust for Dusk, and I will kind of try to follow someone else's tutorial of, you know, this palette to help me think outside of my box, maybe get a little more creative and practice my eyeshadow skill. Um, so I think that's going to be kind of fun too, to follow along with other people's tutorials, um, so that I can use these things in a new and fresh way. So that is going to be a series that I'm going to do at least once a month. Um, and I'm excited about that. Um, I do have a goal of $750 in empties for the year. That doesn't include items that I might declutter. Um, but it does include makeup and skincare and all of those things. Um, and the, let me make sure. I talked about that, 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 that. Okay. The only last thing that I have that I, I think is going to help me a lot, and I've already kind of started, is unfollowing um, brands on Instagram or maybe even YouTube. Um, anyone that pushes new products too much and buying more than you know a whole lot um, I'm gonna unfollow them and I've already started um, unsubscribing from like email lists and text message lists just as a way to help myself out so that I'm not constantly bombarded with a desire to um, buy new things so the goal and I guess I've kind of already started to see yeah, like your word for the year. My word for the year is going to be contentment. Just to be content with what I have because I have a lot of really great stuff. I have a lot of really pretty things and I want to pause my spending and enjoy my pretty things that I currently have. So I will be posting monthly updates on my no buy and items that I have added to my wish list and maybe things that are really, really tempting me. I will um, kind of update you once a month on that. I really appreciate you watching this video and if you made it all the way to the end, I really hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel because I have a lot of project planning content coming this year as I continue to find ways to use and enjoy stuff that I have. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.